What's going on guys? So I am out here at Seguin RV in Seguin, Texas, and I am gonna give you guys an overview walkthrough in my traditional format of our brand new, this is a concept prototype unit from Brookstone. This is the 398 MBL BTBRV edition. So the disclaimer to this video is that this is not a model that's currently available as you see it here. There's currently a 398, but they want your feedback in determining what types of features you wanna see on their units. So this is really cool collaboration. I bought this unit, it was not given to me, and it just has so many cool features that we've added to it. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so first thing first, let's take a look at the numbers. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 17,500 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 2,851 pounds. This rides on 17.5 inch J-rated tires. That's insane. 245, that's a very wide tire for an RV, but that is really cool. Coming back over here to the front, you can see this has a dry weight of 14,590 pounds. It is 42 feet long, two inches. Now. Up front, so this is actually a product that Reese provided for this fifth wheel. This is the Reese Goose Box, second generation version of it. This is a 20,000 pound rated Goose Box. This is the Lippert approved gooseneck connection conversion for a fifth wheel. This is approved to be used on their frames because of the shock absorbers, because of how it dampens the load and the airbag inside of it, plus how it manages movement whenever you're towing, accelerating, and stopping. We got our safety chains right here. Each one of these chains is rated to 18,500 pounds. Looking underneath, we equipped this unit with the Onan QG5500 liquefied propane generator from Cummins. You have your 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You have a solar charge controller for the 190 watt solar panel that's already on the roof of this unit that they added. You also have your really cool Dexter brake actuator. So this unit has hydraulic over electric disc brakes. And because of that, this is what kind of controls the hydraulic portion of the disc brakes using the electronic controller. Has one battery already installed, but it, there's plenty of room to put a couple more batteries in here, which is really nice. This does have the ground control six point auto leveling system. This is the electric system, which I actually like because it's very serviceable. Taking a look right here, you have the very thick baggage doors. You have propane cans on each side, comes with 30 pound cans. Right here is the LCI, look at that, quickie storage solution. So this right here is a slide tray that was added to this unit. Very cool, especially for your sewer supplies, all your connections, stuff like that, whenever you get to your park, so you can just get it out conveniently. Nice diamond tread floor underneath here and on the tray. It has a quick power disconnect right here, so you prevent parasitic draws whenever this is in storage. On the other side, you can see some tie downs, which we'll go over when we get over there. You have a really nice wet bay here. Plus we added this piece around to close it off just in case you know you accidentally get water spraying out. You're not spraying everything right here. This is something that they added to this specific unit. You also have an ice water disconnect for winterizing your system from the residential refrigerator that's inside. You have your Dometic furnace here and your Dometic water heater. You have a spray port on each side with a quick disconnect. So this just pushes in and then you disconnect it from the wall. Set that in there for now. Close that off. All LED lighting all the way around. Nice textured side skirting here. The slide on this side is a rack and pinion gear driven slide. You have your sewer connection here. What I love is the 10 inch drop beam on this unit. So it has a 12 inch main I beam and a 10 inch drop beam. Love that. It's a much beefier drop beam than you see on a lot of units. You see one of your auto leveling legs back there. Coming around, Coachman uses Asdell composite sidewalls, which won't delaminate, rot, any of that stuff. Here's a huge upgrade that they did on this specific concept unit. They put these incredibly robust J-rated K-Max tires from Goodyear. These are a commercial hauling tire. This is what you would typically see on a heavy haul, you know, gooseneck trailer, some low boy trailers. Very, very, very robust tire. I think it's like a 6,000 pound payload capacity per tire. 17 and a half inch wheels, aluminum wheels, really nice, high capacity or high load wheels plus Dexter disc brakes. 
you can probably see the caliper right there and then the rotors right there this has the road armor suspension system from trailer it's an lci product you have probably saw me do a review on this product before this is really cool and this is actually standard on brookstone and most chaparral units this has the heavy duty greasable wet bolts and the heavy duty shackle straps so that's also really nice this also has 8,000 pound rated axles so you have 16,000 pounds worth of axle capacity on this unit. So this right here, most of this was upgraded for this unit. The suspension itself is actually what you would get on any Brookstone. But all of this right here has definitely been beefed up. So coming back right here is a feature that I spec'd in. And this is one that I collaborated with them on. Again, big, thick, heavy baggage doors, dual slam latches, and this huge storage compartment inside. This space is on the back side of the fireplace inside of the unit. 12 volt power GFI outlet right there as well. So I can put a small air compressor back here. I can put my 50 amp cable back here. I can put a lot of things back here. This is such a cool storage area. And on slam latches, which is really, really cool. And it has a magnetic hold. Coming around this way, all LED lighting, 50 amp connection coming off the back. This still gives you the four inch by four inch square tubular bumper going all the way across. A lot of RVs don't have that anymore. This one does. Full walk on roof. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. I think I already mentioned all LED lighting. It does have a receiver already installed. This is a two inch by two inch receiver rated at 300 pounds for cargo carriers, things like that, not for towing. Coming around this way, all the windows are frameless, but they're also dual pane thermal pane windows. So these are dual pane. Not necessarily a huge R value improvement, but it's definitely gonna reduce sound and condensation, and it does reduce a lot of heat transfer into the unit. Here's your main living room slide, also rack and pinion. Again, you can see that 12 inch I-beam frame. This unit has slide top awnings, as well as two very large awnings. One coming off the slide here, and another huge awning up front here. We'll probably pull those in in a second because it's getting a bit windy outside. Over here is your kind of micro kitchen. It has a sink right here, which is actually very easy to access. You know, some people think it needs to come out on a slide, but we opted not to do that because we didn't want to have water line issues. That slide constantly going in and out is gonna cause that flex hose to constantly be flexing. And with this, it's just one less thing. We can run PEX directly to it and you're in good shape. You have a micro refrigerator right here. Really nice. It would have been cool if the door was kind of on the other side. It's lit up inside, which is also nice. And all of this lighting is LED. Here's the other side of your baggage, complete with your tie downs right here. You have a cable satellite hookup if you wanna put a TV out here and you have your power connections there. Very, very cool. You can see the LED light strips that are underneath the awnings and then your additional water sprayer right here. So you can bring that hose to the other side, plug it in here, be able to clean your feet off or you know if you wanna give your dog a bath. Plus you have some power outlets. Over here, this is a prototype step from LCI. It's called the Solid Step XF. Super cool. It's a little bit wider than the normal step. It still has that same top deeper step right here. The key behind this one, and I know you all know has been a challenge for me, is removing the steps or lowering them when it's in storage. So this, actually has the ability to unpin and remove. And the bottom has these quick pins that allow you to adjust the feet and pop them back in place. So that is really, really cool. On the door, they've included the screen defender, which prevents dogs from destroying your door if you have them inside, as well as the slingshot or the screen shot, which pulls the door shut so it's not just flapping. And it also has the thin shade up top right here which is a shade for the door. So you can close it and open it. You don't have to put that big pad in front of it like you had to do in the past. So that is really cool. And the door is on a friction hinge, as you can see right there. So the wind isn't gonna catch this thing and blow it around. And it is a very windy day today. So that is really cool. Asdell, it is Four Seasons rated. Very cool. Let's take a look inside of this very custom and concept 398 MBL Big Truck Big RV Edition. So stepping inside, We'll pan over here to the left first. You have a dinette here, four seats, freestanding. I love this. Panning over to the kitchen, give you kind of a quick overview of what you're looking at here. You have theater seating complete with heat, massage, and lighting. Nice accent lighting around it. 
You have a sofa, which converts into almost a king-size bed, which is really cool. Plus, you have day-night roller shades all the way around, so you have both the mesh style shade and then you have the blackout shade, which blackens this thing out if you want to sleep in later. Over here, we put this huge flip-up countertop at the end of the island. This thing's probably 30 inches long and it turns into essentially a desk or just extra countertop space if you're looking for it. If you wanna work on your computer, plug it into your TV, use your TV as a monitor, it's a great little workstation. So that's really cool. Over here, the ends flip up right here. This is a collaborative idea that I had given them two years ago and we wanted to wait till it was on this unit, but they actually started incorporating this on other Brookstone. So if you buy Brookstone, you're likely gonna have that. Back here again, you have your insulated thermal pane windows, nice window valances, good treatments around, backlit cabinets up top. You have your RCA TV already mounted and it is on a articulating arm so you can rotate it and move it. You have your wide view 36 inch fireplace with heat. More backlighting up there, lots of LED lighting all the way around. This unit lights up very, very well. And you can see the bar stools that are underneath this flip up counter. So a big difference between this and the previous or the current generation Brookstone mid bunk is the fact that this one moved the trash can to under the sink. We made the cabinets taller for that. And now you have your spice rack here and you can put cutting boards and you know sheets, cookie sheets and stuff like that on this side. Over here, we moved from four drawers to three drawers, giving you your two top drawers, which are your normal height drawers, but then you have this really deep drawer below for pots and pans and things like that, or mixing bowls. And you even have another large drawer right there for large items as well. You have your Greystone three burner cooktop. We didn't opt for the Insignia cooktop because we didn't think it was needed. I mean, this has definitely been functional every time we've used one similar to this. And quite frankly, it would have been nice, but it would have taken up more room from the countertop. And again, we didn't need it. Residential microwave, more storage all the way around, storage on top. Has a Samsung French door style refrigerator, really nice, complete with ice maker. So there are ice connections back there as well. And they gave you that ice disconnect in the outside area, which is nice for winterization. Very nice fridge, more storage above. This area is very special to me. It's my coffee station area. Spent a lot of time collaborating with the folks to get this right. We went through several variations of this before we got it right. So you have your cabinets down here to store things. Then you have full extend drawers right here. So you can get things inside of here. You have this huge countertop area right here, complete with power. So this is where your Keurig or your coffee maker would go up top. More cabinets that are backlit. And then we have a great pantry right here. So this pantry is amazing. It has motion detection lights up top. The shelves themselves are about seven and a half inches deep. Just a really, really nice pantry. And they put it on this frosted door, which I really like. Very, very cool. I do wish that the heat ducts were closer to the island. That was one area that I actually got them to do on the version one of this, but the version two, they must have missed that and they put the standard floor so the heat ducts have been kind of pushed out. But I do wish that they were closer to the island. You have the upgraded, the newer version of this faucet fixture. This is pretty common in a lot of your newer units, to be honest. Nice single basin stainless steel sink. I do wish that this was a 50-50 or 60-40 split sink, but I didn't think about that when we were specking this out. Otherwise, I would have said, you know what, let's go with the split because it's something I prefer. What do you guys think about that? You have the extra leaf here you can flip up on the table, and then each chair has under seat storage as well, which is really nice. Your fire extinguisher. You have your control for your ACs, which actually controls the three AC units that are in this specific RV. So this concept unit has three ACs. Typically you would have two, and this is not an option that you currently have on Brookstone. So as a prototype concept unit, this is gonna have the three AC units, two here and then one up front, and they can all run simultaneously and they're all ducted. So that's a big piece of it. They all are able to be ducted, which gives you really good airflow or combined airflow if you need it, which is super awesome. And they are all prototype quiet systems. So they're incredibly quiet. And I don't even think they're readily available on the market yet, but they are very, very cool. 
This wallboard, which you're looking at, as you can see, is the dark wallboard. So I opted to go with this as opposed to this color because all the control panels that sit on it, I wanted them to blend. I didn't want them to stand out by putting, you know, a dark switch on a light wall. And, and because you have so many controls that are generally cluttered together in the same area, I think it looks a lot cleaner doing it this way. Stepping into the mid bunk, you have some coat hangers right here. You have a fold out love seat right here that turns into a bed. You have a bunk on top. It's bowed up a little bit because the table and the legs right here actually go underneath here when you're traveling. I'll probably put this underneath the bed in the bedroom. But yeah, you have a really nice little dinette area plus really cool desk. So you have a functional desk, a lot of space underneath it, a lot of countertop area, a lot of depth to it. We already have a TV hung in here. You have storage above. You have wardrobe storage right here. You have more storage down here. Just a very, very cool setup. And for some people, you might want to take all of this out. You might want to convert this into an actual, you know, office office and put a bigger desk there, put exercise equipment in here. That's kind of one of the perks of a mid bunk is that you have so much flexibility with what you want to use this room for. And you just take stuff out. Okay, coming around and up, you have your steps right here. And these lead up to the loft. So you have a loft that's roughly a queen size bed. So this is really cool. You have a nice thick mattress right here. You have the TV already mounted. We put this here already. You have that piece right there, which is actually the ducting going down into the mid bunk. So you get air conditioning in there. Very nice. This is where the kids, the small kids are going to love to be, especially if they're watching a movie or something. All your controls right here. Some special ones. You have two tank heaters that come standard on Brookstone. You also have the ability to power up a wine guard connect system up top if you install it so the wires are already in place and your ability to control your awnings right here. I love the manual switches. I'm not a big fan of touchscreen. There is a touchscreen right here, but this is just if you need to make adjustments to your auto leveling system. Continuing back, before I go further, take a look at this. So this is a threshold, but why is there a threshold here? If you look back on the videos we did on our chaparral, we had it so when you open the bathroom door, you could pin it open and have privacy for the master bedroom and the actual bathroom. We built it into this unit. So when I helped them design this, this was mandatory. I said, put a threshold there and put a latch. But instead of a latch, they chose to go with this neodyme magnet up top that it's very strong and it pulls the door shut. So this gives you a ton of privacy, especially if you want that master bedroom bathroom feel. So stepping this way, we'll go into the bathroom real quick. Huge bathroom, tons of room, porcelain foot flush toilet, porcelain sink, tons of room around it, good size medicine cabinet. And something very unique here is this really interesting surround. So you probably see all these little plastic pieces right here. Well, these are fasteners. Now they were gonna send this to me without fasteners in it. But down here in South Texas, the heat can really, really cause adhesives to come loose and you see delamination. And I started monitoring the forums for other manufacturers that had showers like this. And almost all of them had a number of their products in the South that it would start delaminating off the wall. So I told them, you know what, let's curtail this before it even becomes an issue. Just go ahead and put the, the fasteners in place. So we just don't have to deal with that. They put some nice baskets up here just to decorate it a little bit more. Nice little hook there. Really nice. And in here, you have some storage for toiletries and such. I almost feel as if they should have put this on this side. That way they could utilize some of the space back here because these things go back like three feet and there's just so much stuff that can accumulate back there that'd be hard to get to. These only need to be about half as deep as they currently are and then repurpose that space for something else. But you definitely have a lot of space. You have a real large pocket down here and then you have some towel hangers up there. You have a fan up top right here. Something else that was feedback I provided are these dark batten strips that run across the top. Typically, they would kind of be an off-white and they would match the ceiling. But I told them I'd really like to see the dark strips and everyone that walks through the units really likes these dark strips. So I hope that stays. Coming into the master bedroom. So in here, king size bed. You can get a queen size bed, but we wanted the king size bed. And because of how large this unit is, you still have plenty of room around it, which is nice. 
These are some really, really nice nightstands that we had added to this unit. These are not currently offered on Brookstone models, but we really wanted this style. So this is areas that they want feedback. What do you guys think? The top of the valances can act as a phone holder, which is also really nice. You have your third Coleman mock air conditioning system in here as well. It's really windy outside, so you probably hear that slightly moving back and forth and as I walk around. Over here, they have a flip up top, so you can use this as storage, really nice. And this is something that comes on several Brookstone floor plans, so this isn't exclusive to my unit. The end tables are exclusive to this unit. You have full pull extension drawers here. They're rated at 100 pounds per slide, so you got a lot of support here on these drawers. TV already mounted in place. Coming to the end here. This is to show you, you can fit the Splendid washer and dryer stackable unit inside here with plenty of room. Very, very cool. This is not an option in terms of getting it equipped with a washer and dryer. You'd have to get those, but I had them install them in my unit just to show that they will fit. And you got plenty of room. I mean, look at the top area and the sides. Very nice. Up front, you have your closet space. LED lit, tons of room in here. And I had my specific unit equipped with a different vacuum than you would traditionally see in an RV. A lot of times you see a Dyson unit or a Central. My wife loves this Makita vacuum, loves it. We got so many of these and she absolutely thinks these are like the best vacuums for solid floors. And it's just amazing to her. So she wanted to get the Makita in this unit and it's actually a less expensive vacuum than the Dyson and it works exceptionally well and it's cordless. Plus now our batteries that we have for the ones we currently own will work with that as well. Okay, one final thing on this unit over here is under the bed. It's finished off really well. They put carpet underneath here. You can take the carpet out, but they wanted to make it so if you put things on here, it doesn't slide around. Nice, really, really strong strut arms to support the bed. I love the floor tones. It's just, it's really nice. Is this the perfect unit? Well, it's as good as I feel we could have done for a mid bunk, right? A mid bunk that still utilizes a slide, but still gives you a lot of usable space in here, plus wardrobe space. Some mid bunks don't give you any wardrobe space. Some mid bunks have really low ceilings. Ceiling height in here is probably 6'3 to 6'5. So if you have taller kids, they can generally fit. And you have a lot of practical use of space here and in this area up here. But I'd love to know your feedback. What do you guys think about this specific RV? Do you think we nailed it in the right areas? Are we missing anything? What do you think we could have done better? But keep in mind, if you're just not a fan of mid bunks, if you're not a fan of rear living room floor plans, you may not like this. You might be a toy hauler fan and you're like, I don't like anything if it's not a toy hauler. But in terms of what we were trying to accomplish, I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear it on the graphics. I'd love to hear it on some of the things we added to the outside. What things do you wanna see? But also, and even more importantly, what things are you willing to pay for if they can add to the unit? Assuming you can pick some of the things that you would like to see added, what do you specifically wanna see added to a unit like this? Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video and the series on this specific unit because this is a long time in the making. This is over a year and a half worth of collaborating to finally get this specific floor plan with all the features out there. And I did buy this unit. So again, it wasn't provided to me for free. I can't go over the pricing because there were certain things in there where we had other vendors that actually contributed parts to it and things like that. And I did not pay MSRP. So even though I got a pretty good deal, I didn't get what I would consider to be a steal. I had to pay for this. I had to write a check and actually buy this unit. So again, it wasn't given me for free. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and a lot more content on this unit to come. Have a great day, everyone.